Hey everybody, it's Gypsy, and this is my week, or cat coming, 14 post op update. Excuse me, Miss Mir. <laughs> uh, right now I'm uh, laying on the couch with my leg up because, and crocheting, my physical therapist just left. <laughs> I'm exhausted and in pain. I inadvertently referred to her as my physical therapist. A terrorist when I was telling my son something about one of my sessions. <laughs> it was an accident. He started laughing. She says PT actually stands for physical torture. <laughs> it does feel like it. Anyways, so my update is actually pretty exciting this week. Um, this past weekend, we had a lot of family celebrations. And um, the first night, Friday night, we went out to dinner and then to, for drinks afterwards in a local tavern and I was I use my wheelchair as I always do when I go out and why is my screen freezing <laughs> anyways I hope it doesn't show up on you guys on um my leg including my foot swelled up and I was in my wheelchair my foot had not been that swollen in about a month and a half. I couldn't figure out why. Well, then I realized at home, I don't use my wheelchair. I use my walker. You know, now I'm putting weight on my leg. I'm, you know, trying to take steps. I am, if you can call them steps. And here I realized I'm used to more physical activity now. So being in the wheelchair for hours is probably what caused me to get swollen. So I felt that was a good thing. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. So the next day, our plans were to go out for brunch. Then we went to Top Golf. I was a spectator. I actually, it was actually enjoyable just to watch because they have these nice comfy couches. And I had a nice frozen pina colada, which is the best I've ever had in my life. And then we had a cookout at home in the backyard. So I thought to myself, well, if I'm going to swell up in the wheelchair, I'm going to try taking my walker. Now, I do have a disability placard, so I'm in a disabled spot close to the door when I go someplace. It's all a matter of how far inside the building I have to go. So I did that. I used my walker the whole day. I was so excited and proud of myself. It felt good not to be in a wheelchair and at the restaurant. I actually got to sit in an actual seat at the table where, you know, usually the wheelchair has to be pulled up and it's like, I don't know. I, I prefer sitting in a real chair. Um, and at Top Golf, we did get on the first level, but then I had to go to the restroom, which was a distance. And I walked it with my walker. You know, and I was just, you know, bebopping around and stuff. And I was so happy and excited and proud of myself. And I still am. However, I think for my first time out with just my walker, I overdid it. Because Sunday and Monday, well, Sunday, both my legs hurt. Even my good leg. I mean, oh, I was down for the count. It was bad. And I was just basically sick for Sunday and Monday. I'm feeling better now. Oh, and also I started going in and out side on my own. My only problem was getting up that first step to get in the house. Uh, too much pain in my knee and my knee buckled. Well, my therapist just explained to me, going down, you put your, your bad leg first. Well, I thought you did that going up too. And she said that was part of my problem. So I have to work on going up with my good leg first, which is kind of scary because I'm going to have to put more because you put the walker up and then you've got to put your good leg up, which means your bad leg is down in the lower level, which means I'm going to have to put like more weight on it to get up. So I have to work on that. That's a scary thought for me, but I was going in, by, in and out by myself. I, I have to work on this so I, I can still, I, I can get in and out with like nobody even home with me. Uh, so that was my excitement. Um, I'm really excited about that my cane arrived and yeah i was going to show it to you but it's way across the room 
anyways, um, my physical therapist just left and she showed me how to use it. Like there's a sequence, you put your cane first and your bad leg, your, your cane is in, all right, my left leg is my bad leg. Okay? I hold my cane in my left hand, cane, bad leg, good leg, you know, like that. And she gave me some ideas. We were going to try it, but I just didn't have enough strength in my leg yet with the cane. Uh, so she showed me how to, we have a Pullman kitchen, so everything's very small and close together. I can just hold on to the counter and practice like that. If I, you know, when I'm feeling up to it right now, I'm exhausted from her being here. She introduces more exercises. Um, my problem, like my calves are nice and strong. My calf is nice and strong now. Um, my problem is straightening my leg. I cannot get it fully straightened. It stops at a certain point and it clicks. And it's very painful to straighten it. When I'm using my walker and I'm walking, it's much easier to straighten it. She said that's because gravity is helping. So she gave me some tricks on how to get my leg to straighten better. Like when I'm watching TV, I have my ankle up on a pillow with my leg with nothing under it and she says gravity is going to gradually have your leg go down she also i also the two of us came to the conclusion it's my calf my not my calf my thigh muscles are still too weak so my leg still feels like a block of cement not as bad as before where i couldn't move it at all but it's still like that so she gave me some muscles to work on my thighs Wait, some exercises to work on my thigh muscles. Why did I just say? Honestly, I haven't been drinking. <laughs> so she gave me those. Um, she was watching me walk with my walker. And she says, I'm doing a great job. She goes, you are putting your whole foot down now, which is really, really good. And you know, she says, I told her, I said, I, it's like I forgot how to walk. It's like, I don't remember how to walk. So all right, when she's here, I'm concentrating on it more. So she's seeing my, my best effort with the walking. But, you know, most of the time, it's like, if I'm not thinking how to walk, I'm not, I'm walking, but not walking right. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So I have to think about what I'm doing to walk. Where before my accident, I didn't think about it at all. It's really strange. But she said, she says, it looks like you're putting more weight down on your leg than you were when did I see her last when I saw her Thursday today is Wednesday so she says I'm doing really really good uh, just got to work on straightening and the strength in my thigh and yeah she says I'm doing great pretty soon I'll be graduating to the cane yeah it's it's kind of scary but I'm looking forward to it and uh, next time she I have physical therapy twice a week so she'll be back on Friday so um, yeah I told her you know I know I'm not supposed to be gardening I said I did have huge plans for gardening this year and I was told absolutely not I told her what I'm doing is I'm going to get a raised garden bed that's on legs and it sits about two three feet off the ground so I can sit in a chair and garden and she said, you know, it's going to be tiny. It's not going to be much of anything, but it'll be something from, you know, I love to garden. She says, that's perfect. She says, go for it. So that's where I am now. I'm pretty pleased. I am exhausted from such a active week, but I'm very happy about it. I'm really excited. I feel like I've, I've really come, I'm making progress, finally making progress. Oh, and another, wait, did I mention the steps? Yes, going up and down. I used to, to go up, I would turn around and hop back up. We have one step going down the back room. Well, now I'm doing it facing forward. Um, and when I go to step down, I'm not hopping down on my one good leg anymore. I'm putting my bad leg down and then my good leg when I'm stepping down. So that's where I'm not. I have to work on going up steps. That's a problem for me. But I am excited. I feel like I'm really making progress. I know I'm at 14 weeks and others are walking by this point. 
uh, it was explained to me because my bone shattered. They had to do reconstructive surgery to put my bone back together before they put the plate in, which is why I'm not walking yet. Um, I had to wait longer to wait bare. And I don't know, maybe it's more painful for me or more difficult for me to walk than if my bone hadn't shattered. I, I don't know about that one, but I was told the reconstructive surgery is thing. So, but I'm pleased. I'm happy. And then finally, I finally, you know, feel like I'm making progress because I really want to walk again. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Blessed be and make it a joyful one.